king, I am not a god, I am Unktane. Welcome back Tano, in today's video we'll explore the powerful Plague Creepath Zo build specifically designed to effectively eliminate enemies at level 9199 in Warframe. Be sure to subscribe and like the video to stay updated on all our content, let's get started. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. I'm about to make a name for myself here. I don't think you guys walk away from this. You just make sure people know what happened here today. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage! Great having you here. Welcome back Tano, I hope you enjoyed the speedrun for the play creep path against level cap, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more content, and I'm looking forward to reading your feedback in the comment section below. Your question would be, why you made the build right now Hank? Why now exactly? Because it's available on numerous event. Now this is one of the only two ways you can get it, either from numerous event, which is available in the game right now, or from Operation Plague Star. Right, so if you go to Nibber Street and you scroll all the way down, you will find the Plague Zoe part, Plague Aquin. Play QR, the build on the channel, and the play Book Queen, and the play Creepath, which we're gonna make a build for it today, and the Oxodia Contagion and Exodia Epidemic. Now, if you watch this uh, in the future, I'm sorry, Tano, you have to wait for the event. As always, we take beginner's friendly approach for Tano doesn't know anything about the Zoe. So, what is Zoe? Zoe's are modular melee weapons created and assembled at Hawk anvil in cetus and like any traditional weapons those utilize modular component system and interchangeable parts when crafting and those are unique because they allow players to mix and match different components including the grip blade and link to create a weapon that suits their play style each component affects the weapon stats such as damage attack speed and critical chance providing a high level of personalization now you know what zo is you head to hawk npc in cetus and you forge a zo strike grip link these three parts are responsible for different stats and bonuses at the cost of other stats and bonuses. So keep that in mind. Now, if you want any in-depth guide about Zo, watch this video. It's a bit old, but still works. Now, for the strike, we're gonna go play Creepath. Play Creepath, an infested rapier like or Polyram Strike that also deal viral damage. Its lightweight provides an increase in speed at the cost of damage. Now, for the grip, you have two options here. Either you go for the Plague Bokwin. Okay, an infested two-handed grip, its heavy weight provides an increase in damage at the cost of speed, so you balance a bit right there, or you go for PE like I did. I, I go for PE. PE is a grip used for sword, machete, rapier, and dagger style weapon. Its lightweight provides an increase in speed at the cost of damage. For the link, we're gonna go for Vergeta 2J, right here. So this is your final uh, look. 36% critical chance, 2.2 critical multiplier, and you're gonna get the viral stat use is like 10%, not really awesome, but we're gonna fix that, and so on, slash 47, puncture 68. Now, gilding is not uh, like before, it's gonna give you the final stats of the Zoe, it's just now for mastery uh, purposes. And if you're wondering where you get the parts, you just go to Hawk again and Browse Wares, and there you go. You can get all the parts right here, the ones for Plague, you can get them only from the two events I just talked to you about, Nibirus or Plague Star. Now, today's special right here, we can give you a special Zoe that you may like or not. That depends on your style. As I said uh, in the beginning of the video, it's really uh, customizable weapons for your taste. Now, you learn what Zoe is and how to craft them and where you get the parts. Now, it's time for the build. Let's go. 
Now, Vulpin Mask, Stan, Swift Cuts, Lancing Strikes, Dreamer's Wrath enables Tanukai. What is Tanukai? Tanukai is a sword will pop on your screen. When you perform a heavy attack using the button on your mouse wheel, it will be free of combo multiplier. And the Dreamer's Wrath will increase the chance by 50% for the sword to pop on your screen. And the critical damage by 32% for those Tanukai attacks. Simple as that. Now, how you know you perform the Tanukai? The sword will turn yellow. Now, Condition Overload. More status on the enemy, more damage you will deal. Alright, 80% melee damage per statue type affecting the target. Galvanized Elementalist. 80% statue damage on melee kill, 30% statue chance for 20 seconds, stacks up to 4 times. The multiplicative statue damage will be affecting slash, heat, electricity, toxin, blast and gas. Now we have slash check and we have uh, electricity check. Now, Primate Smite Orukino. For multiplicative damage against faction, you switch this one depends on the faction you're fighting. Now, Orokin is the Corrupted, you want to switch it to Corpus if Corpus, uh, for example, Grenier if Grenier, Infested if Infested, and so on. Amalgam Organ Shatterer, 85% critical damage and 60% heavy attack wind up speed to fit the Dreamer's Wrath. So when the sword pops, we perform a heavy attack very fast. So we don't waste the sword and so on. Weeping Wounds, 40% statue chance per combo multiplier. Voltaic Strike. 60% electricity and 60% statue chance. Sacrificial steel for critical chance. And on heavy attacks, remember Dreamer's Wrath, right? We will perform it two times the 220%, which is 440%. Now, Blood Russia, 40% critical chance. Tax with combo multiplier. More combo, more critical chance. Exodia Force. On statue effect, 50% chance to deal 200% weapon damage to enemies within 6 meters. Melee influence on melee electricity. Check. Alright. 20% uh, chance for elemental melee statues. We have what we got here. We got electricity and viral. It says elemental. So dotting like impact, puncture and uh, slash will not travel. Okay. So we got viral and electricity. Now, melee statue effects to apply to enemies within 20 meters for 18 seconds. All right. Now with the galvanized elementalist and the orukin, we're going to double dip the power of that uh, th traveling of those elemental to uh, enemies on the area simple as that now but with these statues we got like 16 percent all right it's not great right but then when you get whipping wound in play and then galvanize the elementalist uh, you'll be fine and one more thing i want to make sure to clear it out for you guys the exodia force damage is not affected by condition overload so you need to keep that uh, in mind. So one more thing that uh, the Primate Smite Orkin, if you don't have it, use the normal one. If you don't have it, you can use Primate uh, Pressure Point. No worry at all there. And if you don't want to use Primate Pressure Point, you can use uh, Primate Fury and you'll be fine. But if you want high damage, go for the multiplicative damage against faction. And now for the Warframe, it's really simple. You can use any Warframe you want. Still charge in the aura for the melee damage. Arcane Fury for the damage. Arcane Strike for attack speed. And then you throw Nourish in here if you really want to. Alright, to make sure you get energy and proking viral in your attacks. Now, I didn't boost the weapon anyway. No Zeta Whisper, no Roar, no Eclipse, no Vex Fury, and there is no Wrathful Advance, nothing. Okay? Now, Vigorous Swap, if you're going to prime the enemies with Epitaph and stuff like that, 165% damage when uh, swiping, and pretty much you are set. For the Archon Shards, you want to run two Emerald Archon Shards if you plan on using Corrosive in your priming weapon, or you're going to Armor Strip with uh, any weapon that's modded for corrosive totally up to you if you don't want throw them away it's okay but stick always to dvs d stands for damage v stands for viral to make enemies vulnerable 325 percent to their hp more damage and the s stands for strip lowering enemies damage reduction is a damage increase for you now the other Archon Shards, of course, you want to run Violet if you have them Tau Forged, rich guy, alright? 25% melee critical damage when uh, max energy is over 500, boom, our case, and make sure it's your case, okay? The damage boost is double, simple as that. Now, how are you going to sustain your combo? Now, I highly recommend you go with Naramon, Power Spike, melee combo counter now decays while out of combat by 5 every few seconds instead of depleting completely. In the speedrun, I did go with Madurai, but you can run Naramon and you can level cap still. Now, the companion, you can use whatever you want, alright? And remember, for example, if you use a companion, you can just switch this to the mecha on powered. Uh, squad deals 150% extra damage against marked enemy. Companion marks a target every 60 seconds for 3 seconds, killing the uh, target. Applies their statue effect to all enemies within 7.5 meters. Now, that's very specific and depends on the companion you like. I have a lot of companions level capped, 
already they are in the channel so check which one is your favorite and there is more to come so stay tuned like and subscribe you know the drill and here we are in simulacrum testing the weapon against some enemies and let's check how it's performed now waiting there we go that's melee influence on and they're pretty much dead all right simple as that now of course you can flip the weapon with contagion but I don't think it's worth it really as you're going to be jumping here and there. Tra no, it's, it's not. There is other weapons. They outplay this. And stay tuned for my Bala build for level cap damage cap. So, yeah. All right, boys. Now, by this, we come to the end of our video. I wouldn't say this weapon is like very, very, very uh, powerful. But it's still uh, some fresh air away from the meta powerful uh, weapons. So, I would say give it a try. Maybe you'll like it, all right? Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join our Discord link in the description. Follow me on Twitch. And let me know in the comments below what you think about this weapon. And I'll see you guys next time.